this is 2019 math price for girls problem number 16 and here is a view of this uh, geometry problem so we are given this heptagon uh, seven gone uh, each sides of length one we would like to determine the length of this given edge over here in the middle uh, this problem actually is uh, is somewhat, somewhat uh, challenging uh, you can use a lot of trigonometric bashing to solve it so it's it's not uh, it's not obvious it's not trivial at all uh, how to approach the problem actually and one reason for the difficulty is that each of these angles is um, 360 degrees divided by 7 so which is I mean obviously not easy to work with if you if you decided to bash it out um, however there was a solution by DJ Matman on AOPS that I particularly enjoyed and I would like to share that solution right now and I'm just going to use his notation let's first label the vertices or of, of our heptagon A B C D E F G this point here is P and let's label this one as Q. So the question is asking for PQ. Um, well, uh, so the, the clever idea is the following. Uh, so we have this uh, rhombus here, ABPG, and we can just draw the diagonals of this rhombus. And let's label the point where the two diagonals, they meet at a 90 degree angle over here. Uh, let's label it as, say, M. Then the idea of DJ Matman, which is super cool, is to calculate the distance EM in, in two different ways, basically. So if you draw EM, well, it turns out you can interpret EM uh, is the median. It's a special Chavian, right? EM, you can interpret it as a median, median uh, on, on two different triangles. On triangle well uh, a e p a e p but also and on triangle b e g b e g in, if you inspect in both of these triangles em is the median so what we can do is we can make use of the uh, the length formula for the median right so uh, i don't know if you guys remember it so let me quickly remind you of that formula which is super cool right so uh, it uh, it's based on stewart's formula or Stewart's theorem so if you have a triangle ABC with side lengths ABC and then you have a uh, a Chavian right so uh, this is M which uh, splits side length BC into two pieces M and N and our goal is to calculate D then there's this very cool formula right so D times A times D plus m times a times n is equal to b times m times b if you are from the uh, english speaking world so this formula is um, usefully written in this fashion because dad man equals bomb sink so <laughs> very convenient uh, way to write it but in this particular case we want a special case where d is happens to be a a median if it's a median m and n are congruent they are both equal to a over 2 so we can indeed uh, replace this thing right for that special case so let me open some space here let me just remind you of that formula so special case special case where d is median all right so in that particular special case oops median then we have just replace here uh, m equals n which is equal to a over 2 if you substitute into the formula so it becomes well a over 2 times a sorry uh, d times a times d so this is still uh, d square a plus uh, a over 2 a a over 2 so that's just a o cubed over over 4 if i'm not mistaken equals b and b uh, b square times a over 2 right so b square a over 2 and lastly the last one is the same c square times a over 2 multiply both sides by 4 divide by a you we get 4d square plus a square is equal to if i'm not mistaken 2b square plus 2c square and then further finally you can move things around uh, so this i can write it as 2d squared is equal to 2 times b square plus c square minus a square so that's a very convenient formula so median length formula 
And that's the formula that I'm going to apply uh, in, in this problem. So let's go ahead and apply that formula twice. Like we said, uh, EM is a median on uh, AEP. So let's start with that. So e, uh, and, uh, and we are applying uh, our convenient formula. So 2EM, uh, okay, so first triangle uh, AEP, if you apply the formula 2 times EM squared is equal to 2 times the sides AE and uh, EP, both squared. Um, uh, um, let's write that down, AE squared plus EP squared minus AP squared, AP squared. And I do the same thing for triangle BEG, some space here. So triangle BEG, oops, that's a G. Well, we get again 2EM squared equals um, 2 times uh, BE squared, BE squared plus GE squared minus, minus BG squared but uh well obviously the left hand sides are equal so it must be that the right hand sides of these two expressions must be equal as well but before we go further <laughs> one quick uh, trick which is super useful is the fact that um if you inspect uh, eg it's clear that it spans one two edges as is as does bg right both of them they span one two edges right so so as a result eg let's write that down here eg is equal to bg that's a kind of very convenient because we have an eg term here we have bg term super nice and secondly uh also we have that um ae yeah so uh, in a similar way maybe i can use gray so if you check ae this length over here it spans one two three edges and uh, ae is equal to conveniently there's another one which spans uh three edges and it is eb right do you guys agree that eb also spans one two three edges so that's also equal to eb Perfect. So we have AE here and EB here. Well, when you set them equal to each other, so that would give us, well, the AE square and the BE squares, they will simply cancel out. So what we will be left with is, actually, let's continue here. We have 2EP square. Oops, let's leave it like this. Yeah. So we have 2EP square minus AP square is equal to 2BE square, 2BE square minus bg square uh, i think everybody is clear here right so ae square and be square were just congruent oh we didn't use eg and bg being equal right um e oh sorry 2 ge square no sorry for that so this one is 2 ge square yeah sorry 2 ge square hey 2 ge square minus bg square eg square bg square so this is just uh eg square right so um and um, EG, BG, so probably I should use BG actually. Yeah, let's just use BG square. This is just BG square. So two BG square minus BG square is just BG square. Right, yeah, okay, that's good. So therefore this would imply, so I don't need that. Uh, this would imply two EP squared is simply equal to, huh? moving this guy to the right hand side over here, we would get BG squared uh, plus, a P squared. Aha. Now the good news is that's a G. Well, what's the good news? B G squared, A P squared. Uh, well, B G squared and A P squared, you can uh, split them, right? Uh, as follows. I can split B G squared as B G squared over four. BG squared over 4, BG squared over 4, BG squared over 4, 4 BG squared over 4s, and this, do the same thing for AP squared as well. AP squared over 4 plus AP squared over 4 plus AP... Why would I do that? Because then uh, I can use convenient um, uh, portions to uh, to get the, something uh, better, right? So, uh, well, uh, do, do you guys agree that if you have, for instance, BG squared over 4, and AP square over 4. So I can write the first BG square over 4 as BM square. And AP square over 4, the first one I can write it as AM square. But BM square plus AM square is just AB square. 
which is just one squared, which is a one, and then so on. I can, it turns out that this one, so bm squared plus mp squared, that's a one, mp squared plus mg squared, that's a one, and then finally the last one, uh, am squared plus mg squared, that's a one as well. So long story short, this is one plus one plus, or one squared plus one squared plus one squared plus one squared, that ends up being a four. So ep squared is equal to two, ep comes out as root two. Now finally, if ep is root two, now we can consider this uh, right triangle over here. So QE is one half, EP the hypotenuse is root two, and D square, uh, so um, using pi tag, D square is equal to, uh, well, root two, uh, well, okay, let's do it in two steps, minus one half squared, two minus one over four, that's just seven over four, and indeed, uh, if you take the square root, so D comes out as root seven divided by two, and that solves this really nice, cute problem. Like I said, so just be my guest and try to solve this problem using some trigonometric uh, identities or tricks. It's it's very challenging. Uh, you can easily get lost in the calculations um, or love cosine on various triangles. Yeah, so that, that would be a fun application for those of you who have some time over a weekend. But this solution by uh, DJ Matman, really beautiful. Uh, um, and hope you enjoyed it as well. See you guys in our next lecture.